Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and today's video will be answering the question, what are cubic graphs? If you already know what a regular graph is, a cubic graph is just a three regular graph. So it is a graph like this, where we see every vertex has degree three. If you don't know what a regular graph is, then let's quickly talk about that. So this here is a regular graph because every vertex in the graph has the same degree. The degree of a vertex is the number of edges incident to the vertex, which is the same as saying that the degree of a vertex is the number of vertices it is adjacent to. So this vertex, for example, is incident with one, two, three edges, and thus it is adjacent to three vertices, so it has degree three. And the same is true for every other vertex in this graph, and that's why we call it a three regular graph because it is a regular graph of degree three, a graph where every vertex is adjacent to three other vertices. Here is a little example of a one regular graph where both vertices are adjacent to only one vertex. So all vertices in this graph have degree one. But going back to this three regular graph, that's what a cubic graph is. A cubic graph is any graph that is three regular. That means that all of its vertices have degree three. So if every vertex in a graph has degree three, then it is a three regular graph, which means it is a cubic graph. And here is the most well-known cubic graph. Every vertex in this graph has degree three. It is called the Peterson graph. And I think it is a very nice looking graph, a very nice looking example of a cubic graph. And I grabbed this picture from Wikipedia just so that you could see a perfectly drawn Peterson graph. It's a very well-known graph for a number of reasons, but we're not going to talk about all of that today. Just wanted to point out that this is a great example of a cubic graph where every vertex, of course, has degree three. Looking at this vertex, for example, it's adjacent to one, two, three vertices. And so that is why this is a cubic graph, because every vertex in the graph is adjacent to exactly three vertices. But that's it. That's what a cubic graph is. A graph is a cubic graph if and only if all of its vertices have degree three, which means that it is three regular. So I hope this video helped you understand what cubic graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.